gentlemen, this is your host, Pyrope Odium. Now, like a little bit about myself, like Pyrope Odium kind of started off in uh, 2017, like, because that's when I got into Ruby and all of that, and I really wanted to make my own OC, but I didn't really have a name. So I kind of put it in some like Ruby name generator, like at the time, and like it, it came up as Pyrope, but the thing is, like, Pyrope was, like, the first name, but I needed a second name. Something that, like, kind of described me and how I felt at the time. So, like, I was looking up, like, Latin names, and I stumbled across Audium. Like, so, it's like, I looked up what Audium was, and, it, and Audium means, like, hatred or hate in general. And at the time, I was feeling, like, pretty hateful around that time so it's like I got hate and pyro is like the color of like like blood red at least when I looked it up while like on Google so like overall like my name it literally translates to blood hate but don't worry I'm not here to spread hate with anyone and all that stuff like it, it's just like a name you know like something for the channel like you know it's something to identify me as you know but hey, if you don't want to call me Pyropodium, you can call me Jerry. Now, for the second one, like, I could say how old I am. So, like, so like for my age, I would say that I'm, like, uh... Anyway, like, uh, what's it called? <laughs> enough about the intro, alright? You probably know about me enough already, so I'm just gonna, like, move on, and I'm gonna talk smack about Neon Kanibi now. Oh, Jesus, dude, it's, like, I, I was about to start, but this thing is, like, really, really hot. Just, dude, I'm, like, dude, my, I'm, I'm, like, sweating like a nutsack in this thing, man. Dude, you, you even know how, how this, how thick this thing is? Like, bro, this thing is thick and it's a small. Okay, so look, I just wanted to talk about Neon Kanibi, because I just realized something, right? Look. Ruby Chibi is like my most favorite series, like sub-series actually, like, and <laughs> I could give like uh, Ruby Chibi like so much credit to the point like where they have better storyline than the main Ruby series itself, alright? That's, that, that says a lot, and it's true, like, I mean, hell, Blake and Yang have like a way better interaction, or sorry, not... The hell is wrong with my English? Um, they have way more interaction and way more character development than in the main series. Like, they're actually, like, friends. They actually act like Bumblebee for once. And, like, like, like each character that they introduce, they actually give them a backstory. So if you really think about it, the Ruby Chibi series did better in character development than the main series did. And, like, isn't that supposed to be the job of the main series? Like, why would you implement, like, so many characters that you're never gonna talk about until you make a chibi series about it? Like, my man, come on. But, but anyway, like, look, I love Ruby Chibi, but here's my, here's my take on it, alright? After, like, season three, like, we didn't see it for a, for a while, but when... Like, Ruby, like, eh, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, when, when Ruby Chibi came back, like, it was supposed to be a really good thing, like, and it was, don't get me wrong, like, the introduction with Coco and all that stuff, and, like, the characters getting a new redesign a little bit, like, hell, I mean, <laughs> the first three seasons of Ruby Chibi had better animation than the first three volumes in Ruby. Like, you know what, I'm, I just have to put it out there, I'm sorry, okay? Like, I respect Monty, but for the love of God, like, I can't rewatch it because it's bad. But I could rewatch the Chibi series if I wanted to. Okay, but look, like, I was hyped up when Ruby Chibi was coming back. However, why in the Seven Hells would you put it mixed in with this neon kanibi thing where it, where it's compiled of like different animated shows that no one really gives a shit about i mean hell look i 
only went to Rooster Teeth for Ruby and Red vs. Blue, okay? Like, I grew up with Red vs. Blue as a kid. I stopped watching after a while, up to at least season 15, because I thought it ended at that time. And then I went back into Rooster Teeth because of Ruby. Like, look, if you're going to ask me who's my favorite cast member in Achievement Hunter or Rooster Teeth, like, whatever, I ain't even going to, like, be able to name any besides, like, I don't know, Casey Williams, uh, Jeff Williams, uh, uh, the, that one girl that's Ruby's voice actor. <laughs> But, but anyway, like, look, why, but yeah, why in the Seven Hells would you mix in Ruby Chibi with other shows no one gives a shit about? Like, it doesn't make sense. You had a playlist on YouTube, which, by the way, it's still there, mind you. Like, hold on, let me pull it up real quick. You, you put the whole series, like, on here for free to watch. Right? And it's all organized in this place... <laughs> organized in this playlist. Right? So, why would you, like, not do that for each episode that you make? Like, and you know what? Around eight or nine months ago, y'all decided to put at least two... Two of your freaking Ruby Chibi series from Neon Kanibi in, in YouTube. Like... Are you like Rooster Teeth? You gotta get your shit straight, all right. Like, can we at least have an organized playlist? Like, if you don't want to put it in the Ruby Chibi playlist, can you at least make like a I don't know a Neon Kanibi playlist, but just specifically have the Ruby Chibi episodes? I mean, like, are are you like, are you just disorganized? Are you too busy? Are you too far up your own ass to do shit like this but but look like like i i just hate that, that like i have to sit through some like boring ass shit so i can watch one minute of ruby chibi on neon kanibi on their site and, and like and like not even just finish the whole thing because once i've reached the ruby chibi part that's it i'm done like, who gives a crap? Like, like, and also, you gotta bring Ruby Chibi back, man. I mean, Rooster Teeth, what are you doing? Like, first of all, like, you are like, what's it called? You, you, you've made other series besides Ruby Chibi, like Nomad of Nowhere or uh, Genlock and Camp Camp. And, you know, honestly, Camp Camp and I guess, like, Nomad of Nowhere are your they're pretty good, but Genlock, I mean, bro, come on, man, that show sucks, like, I don't care if you have Michael B. Jordan in that bitch, like, you, it's still terrible, just because you have an actor, like, a famous actor, that doesn't mean it makes it any good, all right, now I know some people are gonna say that they enjoyed Genlock, or that they hated it, but look, Genlock was a shit project for you, all right? You should have just stuck with the Chibi series. You know why? Because the Chibi series is the reason why, like, Ruby is still alive, all right? Like, if you didn't make that Chibi series, like, everyone would have just bailed out on Ruby because shit was just not making sense. And I already covered this in the first vid of Odium Uncensored. The writing is terrible. I mean, as a fan of Ruby myself, I love it, all right? Hell, like, I don't know why you even abandoned it. I bought merch from you, for God's sake. Hang on. Like, like, see that, see that poster right there? I bought that. And you know what? See this, too, from my backpack? The, um, the Ruby Chibi, like, button collection? Bro, I bought that, too. Like, I don't get why, like, if you canceled it because it didn't sell, like, that's just a chock full of crap, first of all. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, you, no. Just, just, just no. All right? Rooster Teeth, you had a good thing going with, with, like, Ruby and the Chibi series. Don't go making other projects you can't finish. Like, uh, I, I don't know. 
shouldn't you, like, as a big company, like, know that already? Like, you know, you, you're starting too big, and then you just lose your shit, like, uh, right down the line. Hell, I'm, I'm gonna go back to your writing. Because that, like, first of all, first of all, you got, like, a ton of good ideas. But you know what you do? You're all like, hmm, oh yes, we have all of these ideas on paper. Let us get rid of all of them and give the fans what they want. A waifu fest. Like, oh my god, man, come on, look. Just because it's a waifu fest doesn't make it good, <laughs> all right? Like, just, just calm down, okay? But, but you know what? That's just my two cents on this take, all right? You got your intro about me, and you got your thoughts of my, your, my, my thoughts on, on like, just chibi thing, okay? I really want this to be alive, like, and alive and well, but if you're gonna keep doing shit that nobody asked for, and that nobody even wanted, then my god, Rooster Teeth. <laughs> Look, I, I, I know I said I'm here to bring on, like, some positivity and, like, good vibes. But, hey, who says we can't shit on things once in a while, right? Whether you love it or hate it, don't worry. It's just the, it's just one man's opinion, all right? And, by the way, like, listen, thank you so much for watching. And, you know, just, just leave, leave me a comment down below or leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you're new here, you know, hi, welcome. And uh, anyways, like, I will see you all in a bit. Peace.